So welcome back. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make the very dangerous Long Island iced tea. The easiest way to remember this drink is it's just the five whites. So you've got five white spirits. So you've got Bacardi, oh sorry, you've got rum, uh, vodka, gin, tequila, and Cointreau. So it's a really simple drink. It's just a built cocktail. So just put some ice into your glass. The ratio is just equal parts. So today I'm only gonna put half shots in, but a lot of recipes out there call for three quarters or full shot. Obviously, if you put a full shot of everything, you're gonna have five shots in one glass. Uh, whereas if you only do half shot, two and a half shots per drink, which is a little bit more reasonable. <laughs> which is probably what I'd serve if I was serving it to a customer. So 15 mils of rum, and then 15 mils of vodka. 15 mils of gin. Fifteen mils of tequila. And 15 mils of Cointreau. So top that up with, with ice, and then almost to the top with Coke. So remember it is an iced tea, so it's gonna look like tea. You don't wanna to put too much Coke into that. So you should still be able to see through it. And then to the top, three quarters of a shot of lemon juice. So 22.5 mils. And float that on top. There are other recipes that call for sugar syrup, but personally, you've already got heaps of sugar in the Coke. You've got sugar from the Cointreau, so I think that's plenty. But same again, it's up to personal taste. And for garnish, I'm just gonna do a lime wedge. And they have a Long Island iced tea. Cheers. So the citrus helps actually mask a lot of the, the spirits in here. You can't, you can't tell how strong the drink is, but the Coke does mask a lot of the, the flavor. So you can't really distinguish the, the different spirits that are in there. And I think the one main reason you're gonna be drinking this is to pretty much get messed up. So Long Island iced tea. Cheers. I don't think she'll